Venezuela's pro-government Supreme Court has opened a criminal investigation against opposition lawmakers. The action comes one week after a failed uprising against disputed president Nicolas Maduro. President Trump says U.S. supports the opposition faction and is open to all options, including taking military action against the current regime. Fox 4's Alex Boyer is in Dallas tonight where a protest was held today. Alex. Hi guys, the small group uh, protesting what they see as the U.S. interfering in Venezuela's political process. They tell me why they're saddened by all of the violence out in the streets. They don't believe the U.S. has the right to get involved. Hands off, Venezuela! A handful of protesters using the federal courthouse in downtown Dallas Tuesday. We are involved in five wars right now. To protest the U.S. government's ongoing threats of possible military action against Venezuela's disputed president, Nicolas Maduro. It's a nation that has charted its own destiny. It does not listen to what Washington wants it to do. The U.S. Secretary of State talked about the military options as the turmoil in Venezuela intensifies. Military action is possible if that's what's required. That's what the United States will do. Last week, Venezuelans who support opposition leader Juan Guaido, recognized by the U.S. as the nation's rightful leader, clashed with President Maduro's military forces, leading to violence in the streets of Caracas. I mean, that really ups the stakes there. SMU political science professor Matthew Wilson says exploring military options doesn't necessarily mean sending U.S. troops to Venezuela. But military involvement can also come in the form of advisors, logistical support, working in partnership with other Latin American countries. President Donald Trump has ordered economic sanctions against Cuba for its support of President Maduro. Wilson explains the rationale. If they can pressure the Cubans to back off, they think that there's a significant possibility for democratic change. Protester Geraldo Sanchez, who has friends in Venezuela, believes the U.S. government is overstepping its authority. So the U.S. has always been trying to impose their will, not only in Venezuela, but against Cuba for many years. At some point, the United States will have to decide how far we as a nation are willing to go to put American interests on the line in Venezuela uh, in order to kind of foment the democratic change that I think most Americans would like to see.